Hi guys, Dio here from Knob Control. I would like to take a moment to personally thank you for your support and your excellent comments so far and use the opportunity to show you some really nice ways to integrate Knob into your workflow. So without further ado, let's get started. First, let's take a look at the stationary mode. This mode is useful for elements that do not move along with the mouse cursor when clicked and dragged. Let's take for example this brightness wheel in DaVinci Resolve. In stationary mode, Knob ensures that the mouse cursor snaps back to the element after making an adjustment. Touching the left toggle switch and turning the knob lets you move to the next parameter. Knob notices this type of movement and is now able to jump between those two parameters when you double tap the left toggle switch. This kind of functionality is built in and does not require any extra drivers or special software. However, for those of you who want to work with more than two parameters during a session, there are some new developments that I would like to show you. You may hover your mouse cursor over an element and press Ctrl and the number to save its position. Let's do this for a couple of useful parameters. Now, by pressing a number, you are able to control the corresponding parameter without having to use the mouse or look at the user interface while doing so. For good measure, let's use this functionality inside the DAW to control a mastering compressor. There are certainly a number of parameters that I'm interested in. The threshold, attack, release, ratio, makeup gain, and finally a bypass button for comparison. So let's go! There you go. I was able to concentrate on the sound without having to look at my screen or use my laptop trackpad. Thank you for your attention and stay tuned.